Hi and welcome to yet another tutorial video for data analysis in SPSS. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the very powerful features for summarizing data in SPSS, the custom tables. So by now, you probably already know that you can calculate frequencies for categorical variables and summary statistics like the mean and standard deviation for scale variables using the frequency procedure. If you don't know how to do that yet, make sure to check out my video SPSS in 15 minutes. The link is right there at the corner at the top and in the description below. You also should be familiar with cross tabulations and mean comparisons, which I covered in the video exploring relationships between variables. The link should be right in the description below as well. Now, custom tables is a Swiss knife for all of that. In Microsoft Excel, it's called a pivot table, but in SPSS, it's just called custom tables. You can create any kind of summary table, be it frequencies for a single variable or relationships between any kind of variable with it. Custom tables are my go-to functionality when I have to summarize a lot of variables at once, especially when I have a large survey with so many variables on my hands. Without further ado, let's jump in and create some custom tables. You'll find the dataset I'm using here in the description below. So go ahead and download it so we can be moving together. Right, to get to the custom tables, go to the menu and click Analyze, Tables, Custom Tables. So to build a custom table, you simply drag a variable and drop it where you want it to go, whether in the rows or in the columns, or even inside another variable, which I will show you in just a short moment. Let's drop the sex of child variable in the rows. By default, we have the count, which we also know as a frequency. Let's run this for now. So now we have a simple frequency table. Let's go back and see what else we can have. Analyze, tables, custom tables. Now, before you run the custom table procedure, it is advisable to make sure that you have set the measurement levels of the variables properly. When we drop the sex of child variable into the rows, it knew to break down the variable into its categories and use the count as a statistic because the variable has been designated as a categorical variable. Specifically, it's a nominal variable. So the cool thing with the custom table dialog box though is that we can actually change the measurement levels right on the variables list on the left. For example, I want to use the parent's highest education variable below the sex of child variable. But look what happens when I do that. Notice here we have this placement marker. Make sure it's right below the sex of child variable. Now look, instead of having categories of highest education, it has added a column for the mean instead. And why is that? Well, parents' highest education has been assigned as a scale variable, so it's trying to summarize it using the mean. Let's drag it back to the variables list. Now, let's change the measurement type. Right-click the variable from here. We know it's an ordinal variable, so let's pick ordinal. Now, we drop it back. Perfect. I also add the base weight class below this variable. We have already seen that we have the counts as a summary statistic, but the custom table functionality actually has hundreds of other summary statistics that you can use. First, we click any one of the variables in the rows, then click summary statistics here. Here in the statistics box, behold the statistics galore. What you see here by default are simply the categories of the different stats that you can use. If you need percentages for each of the categories, you can expand the column percentage category. So for example, I'll drag and drop the column N%. That's fine for now. Click apply to all. Then let's close this. Now click OK. I say this is the best table to summarize all of your demographics at once and just paste it into your report. Let's go back and see what more we can do with this. So far, we have only been summarizing each variable individually, but with custom tables, we can also cross tabulate by simply dragging a categorical variable into the columns. I'll grab the base weight class variable. Now, notice how as we move it, we see the red placement marker. So we can drop this variable outside of any of the other variables or on top to replace the variable or inside to disaggregate the other variable further, or at the top where I want it to be. Great, let's click OK now. In just a few clicks, we have a cross tabulation with column percentages. 
Apart from frequency counts and percentages, we can also calculate summary statistics for continuous variables with custom tables. Let's go back to the dialog box. For this example, let's reset the dialog box. Would you like to reset all tabs? Yeah, that's right. Now, I will drag and drop sex of child into the rows. Then, I will drag and drop child birth weight right after the sex of child variable. Notice how instead of the count, we now have the mean. Let's go to summary statistics and add more statistics. I will expand the count category. Let's drop the count in there. Then scroll down to the end. I need the standard deviation from here. That's fine. Click apply to selection. Then close. Let's run this. Awesome. Now we have a mean comparison of child birth weight by sex. Let's go back and add something else. This time, let's move the sex of child variable to the columns. Then, we'll change the measurement level of parents of highest education variable to ordinal. Now, drag the variable right before the child birth weight variable and click OK. Now we have mean comparison of child birth weight by sex of child by parents' highest education. Check out the link in the description below for many, many more custom tables you can produce using the data and use that for your practice. There are many more great SPSS tutorials coming to the channel, so make sure that you have clicked the subscribe button and also turn on the bell button to never miss anything. All the best as you practice.